this area. I'll read out this week's topics and then we'll see what our panelists can come up with. Okay, here we go. The first subject is unlikely film trailers. <laughs> Referendum 2. We'll keep doing it until we get the result we like. <laughs> From the director of Batman vs Superman, a heartfelt letter of apology for wasting our time. <laughs> Tantric Sex, the movie, not coming soon. <laughs> the new all-female Ghostbusters. The CGI looks amazing because we saved 30% on actors' wages. <laughs> Sepp Blatter and Donald Trump star in Despicable. Me too. <laughs> Thanks to an unfortunate typo, it's the most one-sided action film ever. Alan vs. Predator. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you thought the service couldn't be any more appalling, Southern Rail present... Snakes on a train. <laughs> the Avengers go to prison. They should have asked the age of Ultron. <laughs> the greatest trick the devil ever played was charging nine quid for Fanta and popcorn. <laughs> it's a fucking lot, isn't it? In his most important role to date, Danny Dyer is Emmeline Pankhurst. <laughs> Queen of the rest of these tarts is pissed off! <laughs> the sequel you hoped they would never make, The Martian 2. 101 dull Martians. <laughs> One man stands alone. It's Labour, the film. <laughs> <laughs> it's the autoerotic asphyxiation thriller, Die Hard. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey, the heartwarming story of a vajazzler in an old folks home. <laughs> in a land where nothing costs more than a pound. Poundland. <laughs> Referendum 4. Now Ant wants to leave deck. <laughs> Michael Gove is David Cameron's best buddy in Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Mate. <laughs> Harrison Ford is 73 and he's back in Indiana Jones and the Tricky Patch of Ice outside the post office. <laughs> In a world where they only sell PCs. It's PC world. <laughs> Very good. Okay, next topic. 